for you is this. There is a man that works behind the scenes and is one of the main sources of the problem that is going on in this country. His name is George Soros. Now, what I want to know is this man has millions of dollars that he pours into these elections to put these unscrupulous, corrupt DAs in office. What can we do about George Soros, and do you have any idea where he gets all of this money from? Thank you, Mr. Fitton. And th- oh, caller, thank you. Uh, I presume he earned it legally. Uh, he's a wealthy investor. He's made a lot of money uh, in the financial markets, the currency markets and such. Uh, and he has a right as a citizen to participate in the public policy process, just as those who oppose his agenda have a right to uh, you know, highlight how extremist he is in terms of public policy and the policies of the politicians he's um, uh, uh, been supporting and and you know Soros and folks around him and 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 you know I would encourage anyone who's interested in in, in these issues to recognize that you don't need to spend a lot of money to have a big impact in some of these local races. Um, you know I think Bragg raised two million dollars uh, total for his campaign. Direct Just contributions according direct to the Washington contributions. Post. Yeah. And and Soros uh, you know gave a million or so to a PAC that spent the the most bulk of the money on uh, supporting Bragg. Color of change pack, about a, a billion. I think it got down to half a million yeah, dollars. So, but, you know, when you, even if it's just a half a yeah. million, you know, that's a huge percentage of the support for Bragg in his contested primary at that time. Uh, so, so Soros was a key supporter for Bragg. And I think Bragg, as a pol- political official and a public official, you know, should answer for uh, the support he received uh, given Soros's agenda and his policies, and this is separate and apart from, from, well, maybe it's not, from the Trump issue, because Bragg has been notorious for uh, uh, turning felonies into misdemeanors and taking this kind of uh, soft on crime approach for violent crimes and crimes that really harm the public safety uh, while throwing the book at Donald Trump, uh, as I said, on pretextual issues. from this spot later.